Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the session. Uh, thank you for joining. So we have completed seven transformations and uh, different connections. So I hope you have completed the previous session and exercises. And today we will start with the next transformation called rank transformation. So this rank transformation is very much used in our uh, IACS as well. So it is an active and the connected transformation. So whenever we want to do a ranking on based on a column, then we can go for the rank transformation. In our SQL, we have rank, dense rank. The same way in IACS also, we have the rank by using rank transformation, okay? So in, in, in IACS, so we can do a rank, trans, rank only. So we cannot do directly dense rank by using rank transformation. If I want to do dense rank, we have to do dense rank by expression transformation only. So not in rank transformation. So first of all, we have some different functionalities. Say for an example, here I have one, one value. So here I have one value, here I have one value. So here I have one value, some values are there. Say for an example, day one, day two, day three, day four sales value. So I have the day five like this value, then product one. So if I have the product one, right? So product one, so product two, so product three, like this, we have some products. So product four, so a lot of products values I have. So if I have the values like this, okay. So if you are not able to understand, please watch my aggregate function. Okay, so aggregate function and single row function, you have to watch it. So if you know the aggregate function very clearly, then it is very easy, right? So all the SQL function you have to watch. Say for an example, my question is, so all the day, so day one, day two, I have day seven sales. If I want to find out the weekly sales, so how will you find the weekly sales for product one? Then I have to go for row level summation. So row level summation is 74,941. So this one I will do it. So which transformation I can use? I can use expression transformation. For this row level summation, I have to use expression, right? So even in our SQL, we have to go for select statement. In the select statement, you have to use column name plus, plus, plus. But I'm asking like the column level summation. So what is the day one entire sales value? So I can go for 19,395, right? So like this column level, if I want to go for then aggregate function, you have to use. And day level, which is minimum. So out of all this, which is minimum. Then I can go for, so this one is minimum. If I'm say, then I have to go for aggregate function. But here, day one, which is minimum and which product. If I want to take this entire data, then I have to go for rank only. So I cannot go with aggregate function. So if you do aggregate function, what it will return. So it will return the minimum value 4543, but product four. So it will return last record, right? So you remember aggregate function I have taken the last record, it will return the, the aggregate value, minimum, maximum, sum or anything. So it will return like this way, product four. Is it is it correct? No, it's wrong. So minimum selling product is, if I want to take, I have to go for ranking. So rank on day one sales and bottom one. So least means bottom one. Okay, this is what I have to go for. Then I have to go for rank here. So what is rank and dense rank? So you consider this value. Okay, so consider this value. I have salary column. This is the salary column. So many employees are getting salary. I have to find out based on the salary, I have to rank the employees. So how can I do based on the salary? Then I will do this way, right? So I can go for salary column like this. I'll go for, if I want to make based on salary, highest salary will be rank one. Then I have to go for, so this way, highest to list. So this will be rank one. This will be rank one, right? So first rank, then second rank, second highest salary, third highest salary, right? Fourth highest salary, fifth highest salary, fifth highest salary. So why? Because two members are getting same salary. Since we have assigned same salary value, the rank value for same salary employees. 
next value should be seven only. So next rank will be seven only. Why? Because two members are getting the same salary. The next member will get this salary only, seven. The next one will be, so here, eight. Next one, eight. Then next one, 10. So this is what 10. Then you have 11, 12, 12, 12. So why 12, 12, 12? So three members are getting same salary. So that's why 12, 12, 12. Then, so here I have, so since 12, 12, 12, so 12, 13, 14, next one will be 15, 16, 17. So totally 17 members are there. You'll get 17 rank. So totally how many members are there? Those many rank, you'll get it. That's what rank. So what is dense rank? If I have the same value, then consecutive rank will be assigned. So one, two, three, four, five and five only. Why? Because two members are getting same salary. The next will be six only. If there is a tie in the data, then next will be the consecutive rank will be assigned six. Next will be seven and seven. Eight. So nine, 10, 10, 10. Next will be 11, 12, 13. So this is what I'll go for dense rank. Then row number is nothing but, so this is row number. So row underscore number. So for each and every value, this row number will be assigned with the unique numbers. So this is what I can go for the ranking. So ranking, dense rank, row number. Okay. Say for an example, you have one organization. In the organization, there are thousands of employees. We have rank for all the employees, irrespective of the department designation, all this. We have different categories. We have ranked all of them. But so now if I have four departments like this, the employees are there from different departments. So salary they are getting. So one employee from 20th department, another employee from 30th. So 10th department, 40th department like this. So all the employees comes under only these four departments. So if I want to find out rank based on the departments within the department, I have to find the rank. So what will you do normally? You have to take this particular employee salary, this particular employee, this particular employee, this particular employee. So 10th department, I have to do the ranking. Then I'll go for, okay, 10th department, which is highest, 40,000. So first rank, then 35, second rank, then 20, then 12, right? So this is what it will do the ranking. So within the department, do the ranking like one, two, three, four within the department, do the ranking from highest to least. That means top to bottom. So here, normally in our SQL, we will do group by right in SQL. We will do group by in aggregate function. We will do group by in analytical function. We'll do partition by. So in SQL, we'll do partition by. So in Informatica, we will do the group by only. So normally group by department ID, then do the ranking on salary column. Okay, so I have to do the rank on salary column. So this is the way, so I have to find out the values. Okay, so rank. And so I will take some values. So if you take our employees table, so any tables you can take. So normally if I want to go for some sales values are there or some transactional date is there, so based on the transaction date, latest record based on the transaction date in this particular transaction date. So which is the latest one I have to find out. Then I can go for rank on the particular column, right? So here also, I want to take, so who is minimum salaried employee? Then rank on salary, then least one, that is bottom one I have to take. So if I want to take here rank, it's very, very simple in our, Informatica, a ranking is very, very simple. So we can create one mapping. So I will create one mapping here. Just I'm creating mapping. So here I have the source. So I can take the source table here. So I can take the source. So just you can take any sources. Okay, so if I want to do ranking based on date column also, so that is also possible. 
just you can take the rank so if you know this basic concept very clearly then working with the real time project is very very easy only okay so we have taken the source and i will take the rank transformation here i'll go to rank here this is the rank so we can take the rank here so rank then open the rank here so go to incoming field you can check all the incoming field here just we can do the rank so which field i have to do the ranking rank on salary column right so only one field you can do the ranking not more than one so rank on salary so top or bottom so i have to take top top means highest to least it will be ranking so how many number of rank i want so i want some 100 number of ranks okay so not parameterized this one i will go for so do we have any group by no here i will do the rank on all the columns i will not do any group by here then i will go for advanced one so here advanced one it will take the cache directory since it needs to compare with all the records okay so cache directory it will take so data cache index cache but if you case sensitive comparison you know right so if you do two records so we have john and john j o h n so if you do ascii value based on ascii value if you do the ranking case sensitive so it will make one and two so highest value and the next highest so this way this is the value it will take okay so if you are going for case insensitive case insensitive comparison means so both will be taken as same rank only like this okay so both will be taken as same rank why because case insensitive comparison that's what the meaning so here tracing level then all the input i have to do the ranking if you do the rank column here we have an incoming field so if you go to the out outgoing field right the output field you can find one more extra field here rank index so i'll have one more extra field here so i will i will show you so normally in informatic also we have right rank index so it will do the indexing i am taking the t underscore employees table so you can take the target field so i will do the truncate and load so just i can go for the target field so if you go to the target field these are all the target field but field mapping so you'll have one extra field here see here one extra field called rank index so one extra field is there so here i have 11 so here i have 12 so just i am doing the so smart map say for an example i want to know the rank index so just i am removing the manager id from here just i am taking the rank index here so what is rank index so this is rank index if you consider this one so this is the rank index so it will do the rank indexing here okay so this is dense rank so you so just i have taken the instead of manager id i am passing the rank index so i will i will save this mapping so m underscore rank underscore transformation rank underscore transformation so save this so it's very simple transformation only so whenever i want to do the ranking then you can go for the rank transformation go to run and execute so it will make the ranking so up to 100 ranks it will be loaded first 100 records so it will load see here success 100 rows only processed why 100 rows so because we have we have mentioned like 100 so from top so this is the highest salaried employee next guy is salary employee see here rank the manager in manager id we have passed the rank index so 1 2 3 3 next it is having the value 5 only so 3 3 means next one 5 so 6 7 so 8 8 next will be 10 so this is the way so you are getting the value okay so manager id all this so clear on this so this is the way we can do the ranking for an example i want to do the ranking within the department so top salaried employee in each department so top salaried employee means top one so top one in each department 
i can add the field department id the highest salaried employee in each department so if i want to take this way you can take second highest salaried employee means how can i take we will do now see here so this is the way i am taking so it will take if i have 12 departments so it will load 12 records so we have 12 records right so all the rank index will be one so if you take here then you will have the manager id will be 111 and you have the top salaried employee here so i want to take second highest salaried employee i have to take second highest salaried employee how can i take for each and every department second highest salaried employee so if i if i do number of rank will be 2 so what will happen number of rank will be 2 then it will not load only second highest salaried employee it will load first one and two it will load right so top two top two means top two members will be loaded but i need only second highest salary employee so i have to do here one filter transformation so add filter in the filter so which one i have to use which column i can use the filter transformation so i have to use the rank index column so rank index will be two here right so second highest salaried employee i have to load so if you do here rank it will make first two employees but that's why we have taken the rank index column next level so here it will take second highest salaried employee so here i'm going to run if you do if you see here so this is what it will make the ranking okay so eight records it has loaded so but we have 12 departments right so 12 departments why it has loaded eight records if you see here if you see here so 20th department second salary salary highest employees 30th department right then we do not have 10th department and 40th department 70th department it doesn't have so why because in 10th department i have only one employee so total department itself i have only one employee so that's why the second highest salary employee is not there so if they are asking interview so this is the way you have to do 